All in. Oh, they're off. Uh, six furlongs, 1,200 metres ahead of them. Dream Frontier in the blue and grey, a little slow to get away. So too Attar, second from the left in the uh, red and white. Short price favourite, Sakir, is towards the left-hand group. Black and yellow stripes tracking Asai there. Also in that cluster, outrace pink jacket under the fence, the dark cap for protest rally, the striped cap of Tafrij, and the slow starting pair of Attarge and Dream Frontier. At the end of a couple of furlongs, the grey down the middle, Barolo has a prominent position. Uh, kit bag settles towards midfield, yellow with the black cap. Capital offence and a grey jacket is held up. Classic order, pink cap likewise as they go through halfway. And hard under the rail, Sakia has come there travelling very powerfully alongside the grey Barolo. Asai ridden along in third, coming inside the two, then kit bag out on the right, being followed through by Capital Offence. Uh, but it's uh, up front, Sakia, breezing along in the hands of David Egan. He lets out half an inch of rain, has a long, leisurely look passing the furlong pole, and Sakia bounding clear without expending any energy of all. Could be very useful. Sakia lands the odds in great style. Second place goes to Asai, kit bag in third, a little way clear of raw key. Red Jacket making late gains alongside Tafrij. Sakir's so absolutely bolted up in her third race here at Haydock under uh, David Egan. He, I know he cost a few quid, but th that was very, very smart. Yeah, he's proven his price tag. Um, ben Morris rides him out. Most days at home has done a terrific job with him, just keeping his head in, nice and settled. Um, ran a great debut first time out. We were kind of wanted him to have a nice debut. He learned a lot, came from behind, picked up and was well cleared the third uh, by an ammo racing horse that I think he's got some big entries coming up. Yeah. So um, no, I always expect him to take a step forward, but I knew from halfway he was a class above the rest. Yeah, and he just stood out completely. You're looking around and he just looked like he jumped in. He's in the Mill Reef in a couple of weeks. He's in the Middle Park. He's a classy individual. Obviously he's got a big price tag and these are the horses, his owner, KHK Racing, Shea Khaled once. Um, it's just a, a great job by everyone to get the horse here and to get his win, but to do it like that. like yeah. They're saying, have an easier maiden wins, but I don't think I've had an, an easy race in, yeah. in any sort yeah. of race uh, that I've been riding. So um, it was really impressive and probably not visually, but the feel he gave me is what I was more yeah. impressed with. So a lot more under the tank. Even for any jockey to have a horse to look forward to, you know, going into the, the autumn then proper group races. Yes, yeah, what you want, it gets you really excited and pumped. Um, obviously it's coming to the end of the summer, but horses like this make our jobs a lot easier and get up in the mornings because he's an exciting horse. Tell us about you next few days. Yeah, off to uh, South Korea, riding there in the Korean Cup in the Korean Sprint for Jane Chappelheim and mm. Mick Appleby. So I've been there before. So. Um, be a good experience, some good prize money, so uh, glad to get the, the call up to go. So yeah. uh, obviously come back and then it's job Ledger as meeting, usual. Yeah, 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 Ledger meeting, Eldar Eldarov is in these same colours. Yeah. He worked, rode him the other day, is in terrific form and I think if the, he seems to me that a horse that he get a bit of juice in the ground, he'd be even better. So. Um, We've got a bit of time yeah. before Doncaster. If the if the rain comes, I'd be confident. Obviously, the favourite looks very strong. He's in the market and he has in his races leading up into the ledger. But I'd uh, our lads are all Ascot winner, so one over a mile six already. So he's got the the form and the book and taking the step up to Group One level. I think he can take it in his stride. Yeah. Exciting times ahead. We wish you all the best. Thanks, Safe travels. Cheers.